If you've never been to a Raz round, here's how it works. The top four players from today's event will play three holes. Best combined score for three holes wins $1,000. The top four players will each get their choice of caddy from the lovely caddy options we have available here. If their player wins, the caddy gets $100? Uh, the caddy gets 100 yes. Uh, so, if you are not a player or a caddy, you still get to be involved in three ways. One, you pick which player you want to win. Each player will have a color. Their caddy, their caddy will be wearing that color. You get a wristband with that color. You get a cow band of that color. Number two, you get to razz all the other competitors during the round and try to make them mess up so that your player will win. It's the only time we know in disc golf <laughs> where you're allowed to harass the players during the round. And for those of you who weren't here in 2014, there was a time on the third hole when the entire crowd got quiet because they couldn't stand to razz people for three holes. They were too polite. No need to be polite, okay? Razz them the whole way through. And if your player wins, you get to redeem your wristband for a beautiful Nantucket Disc Golf disc. So, no other wagering is encouraged, but if your player wins, you do get the disc, all right? And so, <clears throat> we understand now that there are other events around the country that have begun to emulate the Raz Round, which we're happy to hear but we have to give credit where credit is due to the one man who had the crazy idea to allow the gallery to harass players for three holes, the Don King of Disc Golf, Todd Rainwater. Let's go green! First up, our champion this year, please welcome Austin. Austin is six foot one, 180 pounds from Coastal Carolina College or University. University, the pride of Charlotte, North Carolina. His favorite comic book hero is Deadpool and his secret fear is that one day Paul Macbeth will unfriend him. Austin. That's the first Raz, we're only getting started. Austin, please choose your caddy and your color. Austin picks Jeremy. Let's go, Green! Please welcome Zach Melton. From Gray, Tennessee, the pride of Dobbins Bennett High School. His favorite comic book hero is. Yeah, it's written right there. Yes. I can read my own writing. I don't know if anybody else has. His favorite comic book hero is Captain America, and his secret fear is that someone will come up to him and ask for an autograph and say, I love LaGrange and Legs and all those ZZ Top songs that you did. Who would you like? No one got that. No one got that. Oh, well. My secret fear is that no one will get the jokes. Uh, Zach, please choose your color and your caddy. Zach chooses red and Simon, so if you want uh, Zach and Simon to win, you're picking red. Please welcome now from Corvallis, Oregon, Nate Sexton. At six foot tall and 200 pounds, he is the product of Oregon State. His favorite comic book hero is Iron Man. And his secret fear is that someone will ask him for his autograph and say, tell your wife Valerie I said I. Nate Sexton, who do you pick? Glenn Brinster! And now at five foot nine in his Adidas, 165 pounds, the pride of Huntington Beach. And even 
know Jeremy Colling has been downgraded and Pluto has been downgraded. Speedy Gonzalez has been upgraded to comic book superhero, and he is a favorite of Paul McBeth. Paul's secret fear is... Uh, he secretly <laughs> he secretly has no fears. His secret fear is that Jeremy Colling will send him a friend request on Facebook. Paul, who would you like as your caddy and what color would you like? Yellow and Eagle! Is that for the after party, Joe? That's for the before, during, and after party, Terry. You know about this. Woo! Please welcome Austin!
Get out of the... Yeah. How do you keep hard? It's not even laying the fairway. I throw the worst shots ever. I always get hard. Doesn't matter. You don't have to throw a good shot. He already used his Val Jenkins injury joke though. That one on the first one. Next year we're setting up John. Four. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, we want to apologize. We promised you four of the best players what in the world. What a bunch of scrubs! And we give you four guys who shot a par on the easiest hole on the court. If you had paid to get in, we would gladly be giving you our refunds right now. Please just accept our apology. Alright, we also have an announcement that there is now a Snapchat filter for the new Pocket Course. Those of you who are smarter than us know what that means, but anyway, it's there. And uh, please let, this, let these guys know what you thought of their pathetic course. <laughs> Yeah! yeah. 
Oh, y'all miss me! Madison's got all your discs. Cage is taking them. No, Box out. This is coming right here. Right?
all yours. He said, I'm going to beat everybody, even with the worst possible caddy on my side, Austin and the world! I'm the disc golf guy, and this is my video blog. Austin, quite the trifecta today. An ace, you win the tournament, and then you win the Raz round. Is this the greatest day of your disc golf career? Um, it's definitely, well, probably the best day of my life. Best one, day of, one, of my, one of the best days of my life. It should be. We're here in Nantucket. It's been an amazing show throughout the entire weekend. Anything you want to say to everyone, all your supporters, fans, everyone out there? Um, just want to thank everyone back in Charlotte, um, all my fans out here. Green team took down the victory in the Raz round two years in a row. And uh, thanks to my long sponsor, Discraft, always keeping me up and letting me be able to come out here and show these courses and do what I can. All right. Well, that's Austin Turner. It's been a heck of a weekend. We hope you enjoyed the skins, the Raz round, the round-by-round -round coverage, all the commentary, everything else. Thanks to Todd Ran Rainwater and the Nantucket Disc Golf Club. We'll see you guys next time. Go green!